Hi, hello and welcome. Welcome back to another Uncredit video. Welcome back to another episode in The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Still on the sorcerer or the magician or the wizard, whatever. Alexander Stower, filled with rats, filled with human experiments. And we are looking for Graham, his name was, I believe, right? The long lost lover of the girl that we spoke to last episode. This, this shit is dark as dicks, dude. Have you guys been? I am doing a okay a little, little bit on the tired side, I'll say. Because I uh, had a little bit of a, a party last night. And that's what I thought, that I would miss something here. Just trash though. A little bit of a party last night. Not even little. It was a party until like 5 in the morning. And I danced my arse off. Really, really had a blast. That's not the door to the outside. Maybe this is... I don't remember the tower being this large. No, now we're in the basement. We were supposed to sleep over, but in the end, me and my buddy decided, you know what? Let's just cycle home in the morning. I had a beautiful, beautiful bike ride that was almost an hour long, and we were just chilling together. Take Annabelle to Graham. Seems like Graham doesn't live too far. We should get out of the spiky walls first, though. Still don't know what that swarm is, and I don't necessarily want to find out. Is this island gonna be infested with monsters again? No, judging with my witcher senses, I was gonna say like it seems okay, but yeah, no, there's definitely there's some people here. Can we use this boat maybe for a second? Uh, let's go. We have sailed once before, right? If I'm not mistaken. It's okay though that this day is not gonna be too productive because I don't have anything planned. Oh man. Absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Normally I had a nice sport exercise activity planned with my colleagues. But in the end that did not that did not work out. Nobody could join me in the end, or not enough people to, to rent a paddle field. Hey, what's going on here? You've been following me. I'm not following you. Just wondering what you want from him. From Graham. Me? Didn't want nothing. It's his mother be worried about him. Been locked in his hut since he came back from the aisle. Talks to no soul. Love's misery curdled his brains, I reckon. Oh yes, experienced some shit. Hey Graham, I got the bones of your dead wife. Damn it! I told you. Who are you? Let's not reveal our identity immediately. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It's where Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower. Interesting accent. The servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. I think they did, fam. First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. And then Mage she was wanted eaten to protect by her, rat. make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means is she You said you spoke to her. Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses and rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. Oh, this is gonna eat him alive. She, he could have saved her. It can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought. It's not your fault, homie. It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. I'm gonna sneeze. No, it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? <laughs> if I had just stayed behind to bury her, I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. 
But there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Seems like a stand-up fella that really loved this girl. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But what can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. There is a her bones. Yeah, I have them yes. right here. Leave Just me. in my back pocket. And leave me be. I'll leave you be, but bury them, bro. Please. Like you you you, you will bury them, right? Fella? Graham fella buddy boy? You will you will you will bury them, right? I wanna check out this altar. Move either way. A girl and plated flowers. Looks like a small shrine. What do you mean a girl? You you know who this is. Fucking Geralt and his stupid, stupid ways of speaking sometimes. Back to Kira. Tell her we lifted the ghost. She's a pesta, and now she's free. Um. What the fuck? Hello? Wait. So that, that's just it then. Graham is just dead and, and that's fine. And all these reds are here. That's also just okay. Nobody nobody bets an eye about that. that, that doesn't, doesn't matter to anyone? No? We're just gonna leave it like this? Well, alrighty. Back to Kira it is, I think. I am gonna go out for a nice little drink together with a colleague. Probably just go for a cup of coffee though. I don't know if I'll indulge in some more alcohol. I really have been drinking enough the last couple of days. And then after that, we're going to eat a little bit of spaghetti to support one of the one of the local youth, not youth movements, but like something like Boy Scouts, but most more focused on girls. No, that's not necessarily true. It's not more focused on girls at all. No, some Nilf Guardian soldiers. A new waypoint unlocked for fast traveling. That's always nice. Although we rarely fast travel here in this The Witcher series. 8 p.m. More evening, rather. Evening is upon us. I'm gonna ignore these fellas for a little second. I just want to get over to Kira Metz and tell her what we discovered. So, she was a, a pesta? What did he say? A pesta. Some kind of evil woman, ghost-like creature. Don't necessarily want to encounter her again. What's up, bitch? Yo. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Yeah, I'll just go into Fike the quest I of its curse. And you withheld this news until now. Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Well. Mm. I lifted the curse so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you fail to notice. You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. Was there like something something else we could have done to prevent Graham's death? What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this. Their hairs the are so knew distracting. About it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. Hold up. Hold up. All right. What time I was on my way. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer. There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Not sure. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Black Bow. I'll check the area. Oh, thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. We are on... Uh, how do you say that? On, like, good rapport or something? Oh, this guy. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rights to conduct. 
Wandering souls to emerge, damned souls too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Sure. I'll help you. Seems like you can I'm use just a witcher. accepting quests so, yeah, left, I'll right, help. and center. You'd not refuse the pell on you. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Okay. I guess that then incentivizes us to do this first. Getting sidetracked a little bit. Is there a boat we can land somewhere or are we gonna have to we're gonna have to swim there? Well we definitely should use Roach. I don't know why I left him behind. Roachy boy. Sorry for the doubts about your usefulness. Don't know why, how I ever could do that. Really a trusty steed, a horse that has brought us a lot of comfort already, a lot of help. Tomorrow we're going out for a nice lunch for my brother's birthday. And in the evening, a friend might be coming over, which he has some personal family things going on. All of a sudden, a bit unexpectedly. Always comes as a shock, of course, but especially when it's just like really out of the blue and you didn't see it coming at all. Things like that can, uh, can ruin your day, to say the least. And it's quite treacherous then to to make that decision for her i definitely will not do that but there is like a, a part that always says like wouldn't it be great for you then to have a social gathering to be together with friends isn't gonna help you but on the other end you want that person to if she feels like no i need to be alone i need to have a clear schedule a clear agenda right now respect that of course don't force her into trying to accept social support because that'll definitely not work out Social support is a very, very strong form of coping, but the person needs to be open to it a little bit. You can't just put them in a room with other people and expect them to talk about their struggles, to accept hugs, to just be honest about what's bothering them. There's people already walking there. They are just humans, right? I think so, for the ritual. Okay, let's help the speller out. And the stone circle is here, right? Whoa, that's a lot of people. So I guess this area we cleared out for Kira Mets is not only important for Kira then, huh? It's not midnight yet, but I'll sure, I'm sure. No. I was gonna say, I'm sure we can start the quest already, but okay. It's meditation time then, I guess. Everyone's still here. Let's go. Just in time. What's this all about? Yeah, just in time, I was standing near you for two hours. Behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. This is some cool Soon shit. shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help, some will be. From these, you must protect us. Sure. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. We can start. Begin. Keep us from harm. And let them not disturb the circle. As long as I have my Quen sign, homie, I can keep anything away. What is this life? Protect the ritual's participants. Once life subsides. Okay, let's use our witcher senses to see. Where the ghosts arise or something? Let's begin for Father's Eve. Oh, here we go. The water hags are here. <laughs> she threw something onto her own on their own little fella. Oh, my quen sign is broken already. Yay, okay. I'm focusing on this combat a little bit because there's quite a lot of enemies, so I'm trying to really do do well. Quen sign still equipped, not anymore. A bit of mud on my screen. Let's keep on dodging. Ooh, dodge further, dodge further. Eat a little fried meat if we can. Oh, it's a lot of enemies. The drowned dead are gone. Let's make sure we don't hit the pet pillar accidentally. These water hags are quite tanky and they deal some damage as well. They probably have a weakness, maybe like Igni or something, considering they are made of water. Maybe fire is their weakness, but normally it's the other way around though, right? There we go. Okay. Woo! Was that just it or was that like the first wave? Hark! A sound I hear. Tis right. A spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak! 
this time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. I was running to the six with my woes. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. Who are you? He knows. Hmm. Interesting. Should I drive him away? No. I've come for you, Patricide. Be gone, foul force. I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire. What's happened here? Abomination. Stop this at once. The errant souls. We must help them. Silence. I'll not tolerate necromancy. Help me. Uh, don't let me decide. Oh, it's not really my fight. To fight monsters, not humans. With no quarrel with you, be gone. Scatter this rabble to the four winds. Don't spare them. I mean, I don't want, I don't want them to be rough on these people. They're just doing what they think to be best, but. He can't fault us for what we did, like, we were there to protect him from Trust monsters. You, the Pella did. Help you promised. I, did, I never promised Killing to defend humans, him from home. Not it's part of our deal. Ways. Go. Be gone. Pella's done with you. Uh, well, yeah. Hmm. I don't think he really deserves to be angry with us, because I think that we just did, like, the, the logical, sen sens sensible, sensible thing. I'm gonna go to this waypoint and fast travel a little bit to a blacksmith where we can repair our weapon. We have one of those on-the-go weapon repair things also, for sure. I want to save that for when I really, really am in a pickle and far away from civilization. Because as you notice, my, my sword is damaged. Which means that I don't necessarily want to fight this individual, so I'm just gonna try and run past him. I haven't seen the Baron in a while, but I, I probably don't want to go and see him as well. Oops, I tried to stow away my weapon, but for some reason I thought that was the T button and now I just randomly drank a potion. Let's sell some of the shit we have collected in our travels. There we go. I feel like our economy has always been very much okay during this this run of the Witcher, this campaign, this this playthrough rather. We've never like been in the need for money, but then again we've also rarely ever used our money. Maybe we can check out whether there's something craftable or a craftable upgrade for us at the blacksmith here. Need some armor made, please. And then also some repairs. We are level 7 right now, so this is out of reach. Although it would have been nice to have. No, uh, no, nah, nah, it's not really worth it. But repair, please. What now? I guess continue with Kira's questline because we were focusing on that. There we go, a favor for a friend. A friend with benefits for sure. It's a bit of a slow, uneventful episode. All of the Witcher episodes are a bit slow, but I feel like we are now doing a lot of moving back and forth. It's not, it's not crazy. It's not crazy enough, you know. We need to, we need some cool action, like killing this child. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I could be more careful if I really was that sorry. But who needs roads? Who needs roads when you have Rochi boy? Who can traverse the jungle? I, I feel like playing some Minecraft, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. This, this seems interesting. But that's not what we're looking for right now. It's like a, a monster's nest, I think. I think that was that symbol on the map. I feel like playing some Minecraft. I was talking about this recently together with a client just yesterday. It's a game where you get into it for a couple of months and then you get back out of it and then you get back into it a couple of months later. And I feel like it's one of those points in time where I could be getting into it. I would love to record some. It's still a perfect game for this channel because it allows me to just ramble on while I'm building, mining, doing some combat, but I rarely do combat in Minecraft. I'm more about that peaceful lifestyle. I'm all about that, let me just build a house lifestyle, you know? Doesn't have to be any any more than that. Wide, heavy wheels. Merchant's wagon. The merchant's wagon is what we're looking for, but we have some uh, unwanted guests first. Another water hack. God damn it. I'm kind of tired of them. Luckily, we still have our alt dodge available to us. 
I'm, I'm a little bit sad that we were not able to pick up all the loot we had in the last episode. In the last episode, what am I talking about? During the last quest, because we really... Why am I doing only heavy attacks? Interesting. Because I feel like we just killed a whole, whole bunch of monsters there. So there definitely would be some interesting alchemy ingredients together. But I was not able to, not able to do so because the mission just ended. Just one drowner remaining. I haven't seen a, a knockdown yet. Don't always need our Gwen sign anymore now that we have this nice little dodge mechanic. Collect our loot. Okay, and then let's see. So we saw the tracks on the road here somewhere. Which direction are they going? I guess the wagon rolled in through here probably. So let's follow the yellow brick road. But also let's follow these things. Can we loot this corpse? Oh. Letter from Nilfgaardian's wife. Delvin. I lost my father and brother in the last Nordling war. Please come back to me, for I am afraid I'll lose my husband too, and our little Beatrice will lose her father. I know the punishment for desertion, but I know some men have made it home unscathed. We'll hide at Ifan's farm. You'll wait out the war in peace here. I pray for you every day. Alvin. Alvin? I hate to break it to you, miss, but I don't think Ilvin's coming home anytime soon. Well, that's quite sad. What's this wagon doing headed off? Road at high speed. Doesn't bode well. Yeah, what's this wagon doing off-roading? It's not like he's in a rally or something. Why why would he want to traverse these paths? And where did he go? Where did he also come from? And are we in fact dealing with Cotton Eye Joe? Traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Okay. Oh, was that a leftovers, cuts of meat, catablepus? I wonder what spell requires that. Cut the blepus. Do we have... We have a slot. Because we love a Quen sign. Nice, 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 nice. It's great, oh great. Package for Kira. Intact. Don't sense any human magic though. I'm an artery. wonder how Kira looks behind this one. Wouldn't have made it. Maybe don't need to trigger talking through each other, but... Does this mean that we still have a, a path to follow if we want? Oh, we still have a nice rod fiend as well. Which we will just make quit. That's for you. A quick work off. Oh, so this is where the, the fella was. Missing merchant's letter. Volker. We fit gold, old friend. Not only have we sold all our stock, we have sold it for three times its cost. Our customer wants it all. Wine from Beauclair, everything from Nouveau to the oldest vintages. White, red, rosé, you name it. Cut a blade of meat. Pickled beef. Pepper. Cinnamon, cloves, I'm telling you, old friend, everything. There's one catch, however. We must deliver the goods to Velen, to a village called Midcops. I know, I know, dangerous, what with the war and all, but think of the coin. I've managed to secure a pass that will get you across the pond there. Then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump, and you're there. You'll be fine. Klaus. PS will split the proceeds 50-50. I don't think you need to split them 50-50, and I also don't think there will be many proceeds, because your business partner is nailed to a tree. Quite quite death. Quite unbreeding. Quite alivened. Would you guys be interested in seeing some more Minecraft on the Onkra channel? It has, it has been a recurring game on the channel already. But like... Uh, just leave me be. I don't want to fight with people on horses. We have played some Minecraft. We have dabbled in some Minecraft. Like, two seasons that each had like five episodes or something, I think. So not a lot, but I always enjoyed it. I enjoyed it to the fullest. Just an, always a nice balance between like building, chilling, a little time-lapse action in there sometimes even. It was a blast. Yo, Kira. Got your stuff. <laughs> I got another substance she wants it. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine. Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. But you must wait a bit. Fine, I'll wait. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo outside. Outside. Step into something more comfortable. Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on out. Scary. Is this going to be another part where I have to cover up a part of the screen? You've been patient, thank you. 
It's almost ready. Huh? Oh, there's a mess for Shrek. I white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The king within the castle. is going on third mouse what happened to it the spell has a 66.67 percent chance of success i always use one more than i need just in case so where did kira can i explain what's going on <laughs> know the fairy tale about cinderella mm -hmm. true story it's based on too a zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate princess cinderella whole left behind one slipper so i beg you not another word about zoogles Zool. Now to return to the fairy tale. I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy. A magical I'll night. Cast the spells huh. myself, but I could use a prince charming. This is weird in the Shrek episode. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback and dinner? Let's go. <laughs> what was that sick at all? So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. I'm a witcher, not a gigolo. Before Respectable. Go, there's one more thing. Gotta transform a pumpkin into a carriage. No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Sure. When in Why Rome. Not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gavella Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Bro, I literally well, we just go. went to Dinner's the barber. Waiting. Last one there does the dishes. So this is a, an interesting little quest. Ray Skira. Okay. I will destroy her. Watch me like look behind me and just cast an Igni sign at her horse. Her horse? Her mouse? Her mouse horse? All these talk about mouse, about mice and horses and still no pussy in sight. Oh, so romantic in between the hanging people, in between the drowners, in the box. That her horse, re horse stamina recharge for a second. Oh, she's fast approaching though. Don't mind us, important witcher business. Maybe steer a little bit. My horse is tired. How far do we need to go? Let's block her a little bit. Right in front. There we go. Try to catch me, you're behind me, girl. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Easy. Easy. Just had to body block a little bit. Congratulations, you'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes, but then I'd not have invited you here. Well, Kira, you've now got some you uh, riding skills yourself. <laughs> Beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the dry red? But let it breathe a little first. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. How, if you don't mind my asking? I mean, you'd think the only work to be had in Velen would be in farming. <laughs> Very true. So, I have two options. I can either start cultivating turnips or leave. Where but that's not what going? I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. <laughs> that's a bit direct. Didn't destroy that workshop if that's what you're asking. Didn't see any reason to. 
If Alexander's findings were to fall into the wrong hands. Although, Fikile has a terrible reputation. None even dare go there. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about. Is this a little bit of foreshadowing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. She's so stealing my line. Your fairy tale, your rules. Really? Then close your eyes and count to ten. Okay, see you guys in the One, next episode. Two, uh bye bye. Three. Four. Alright, that's enough. Kira, wanna play hide and seek? Why not? No, sure. I'll do this. What do we have to lose? I have some time. Good. Won't have to fumble with fasteners. She gonna be Yeah, I, I know, I know. I wanted to I wanted to get the plant. Is she gonna be just like naked in the middle of the woods in Velen? The the same region. Shame. Could have kept her shoes on. The same region we just discovered like that merchant brutally murdered in. She's gonna be here like just naked here somewhere. Where is she going to? Like that lit up area right in front of your ass, bro. Of course she's here. Or is she? Oh, I'll see you next episode. Bye bye. Dragon something, I bet. Dragon these nuts across your forehead. Quest completed. Get laid. Put me to sleep with a spell. Means she's up to something. Yeah, of uh, course. Fike Isle, the tower. This woman is never just gonna have us like really chill out for one second. Let's check out what she did to the tower in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this one. Bye-bye. <laughs>